back for the victory going into main stage. So such a cool thing for Logan to get some practice in before a huge IRL event. But Marthado on stage here. Pokemon Stadium is the go-ahead. And grab already in a solid uh, corner pressure sequence here. Getting to us started with some 70% advantage advantage lead here over Logan. But Logan not to be put too far behind immediately with a five sword swing combination that even us up the 10% deficit. All right, wave dash back into F smash. Set us up for one more time. Double jab. Ooh, try to set us up for a little early down air, but can't quite end the game here. Power shield into re-grab. Tech chase here for grab. Grab down tilt to follow up. No jump for Logan. Snuffed out, and the early backer will clean up the stock. You're going to grab that ledge. Roll that straight up. Ready, set, go. 128% stacked up on grab. Grab with an early grab. Grab getting them grabs. I'm sure so many commentators have made that joke. <laughs> and aggressive down air from the skies. Logan going for these, um, trying to get these early tech chases in the set they had last week. The defining factor of Logan taking it home was his down throw tech chases. He able to grab, uh, grab, grab at low percent and stack up 60, 70, if not 80%. Off double fumble down throw tech chases and gets a sharking up air to seal away that stock at 198. Great defensive stock from Grab. I have to see if Logan can mitigate the advantage gained from Grab's earlier stock. Does not get the short hop double fair that he needs to get that juggle. Okay. Second hit in there to set us up for an early edge guard situation, but the tipper, F Smash will kind of go through and the pivot will miss as well again down airs from the skies and a tech chase opportunity but looks like we're gonna go for up throw into shark maybe a change in game plan that logan may have implemented over the last week so definitely a mix up on the grabs on the grab follow-ups and grab will maintain his stock advantage all right gonna go ahead and refresh that but grab will find himself back to terra firma Early with the Sharks. Finds the upsell for the continuation. No jump. No jump. Roll that up and that'll do it. That's what you can get off these early conversions, ladies and gentlemen. You don't have to get that meaty kit. All you have to do is catch them jumping. Catch those de early defensive options. And then just carry them off stage and let them hang themselves. Logan will go off with an aggressive forward air to seal away the stock. But an absolute 0-0 zero zero clean stock advantage here for grabs. Double pummel down throw tech chase set us up for a huge punish from Logan. What Logan a great a dunk. Zero to death. Yes, sir. And back down. Zero to zero. Last stock. Grab has been in the driver's seat for the better part of game number one. What can Logan get with these down throw tech chases? Yeah, Logan, last week in Grand Finals when we had this exact same set, really showed us his reaction time with those tech chases, but Grab really learning some lessons. What can he get from this? Tipper forward smash is going to take it. What a classic Marth kill we have there. Game one going to Grab. Also, I will get to the, all those follower updates in a second. Set bang. You're the only one I'm going to call out right now. I'm going to call out everyone who's followed, though. Sebag, I'm the only one calling you out right now because I can't believe you've been here since, like, week three and you are now following just now. What the hell, Sebag? Yeah, it's it's so crazy to think that Grab has come this far. At my first big tournament in Ohio back in like, late 2015, I played against Grab and Wolven. It was a Marth Samus double set with a local Sheik main. And uh, we got absolutely destroyed in winners round one versus Grab and Wolven. And now I'm, you know, God, that's seven years later, commentating Grab in, you know, <laughs> winners finals, grand finals of these online events. You know, so cool to see how far he's come. Yeah. And you know who else has come far? Logan. What a, he, I feel like Logan has had such a skyrocket. Wait, were you talking about Logan? Yeah, I'm just talking about Grab. You know, Grab, um, I met Grab at a local in 2015. Oh, uh, like in Cincinnati, Ohio. I get yeah, Logan also just a meteoric rise. Definitely one of the biggest proprietors of the online era. Um, formerly LSD getting an HBox win of his own right. 
um, back in the early days of Slippy, and now with the rebranding to his own first name of Logan, doing such enormous work, not just online but also in the in person event, in IRL events such as you know Summit Eleven. Yeah, I um, sorry, but I totally thought you were talking about someone else, like outside of the <laughs> outside of the game. Uh, but I will say, Logan, Logan did not have the best uh, best time on FD last week, if I remember. But he has been firmly in the driver's seat in in this game too. And Crab, not even just a stock down, now a clean two stocks to make up for Logan. I. When I face someone as uh, daunting as Logan, I just I wouldn't even know how to make up with the make up the difference. But Grab is definitely going to try. Oh, these reaction tech chases are going to be the downfall of Grab. I can feel it in my bones. But we are pummeling for space, and he has a forward smash to end the game himself. That was the quickest game two I've ever seen in my life. It's definitely reminiscent of their first winners set last week at the Salt Mine. Uh, we saw a pretty tit-for-tat victory for the side of Grab, and then a four-stock in retort on the first game on FD for Logan. <clears throat> Logan then three-stocking him in game number three on Grab's counter pick, and then Grab winning the next two games last stock. So Grab and Logan have had a very storied um, history on their recent sets. I have to see is uh, what kind of um, counter pick does Grab have in retort to Logan here? Looks like Dreamland will be the pick. And what kind of oh. game plan does he have for these extended uh, neutral interactions here on Dreamland? You know, I don't know if I agree with Dreamland being the pick from Grab because I feel like Logan can just make these platforms not exist with his Grab game. And honestly, the Grab game has really been the thorn in the side of Grab this entire time. I feel like Logan is just so good on reaction. Ooh. Dash through into the F-Smash for Grab. Grab with a bit of corner pressure. Oh my god, returning Oof. Dare catches him in the air. That'll do it. Yeah, 105 on Logan, though. We are high percent, but if we know anything, all it takes is one opening for Logan to tack on 50, 60 percent onto, onto Grab. We are in the 70s now. All off of one not slide off Waveland for Grab. But maybe Grab can... Seal this out now. The tilt on the up tilt is not gonna. Ooh, triple dip. Damn it, Logan only needs two openings to kill Grab. I mean, he is really looking in peak form th this week. All right, Dash Dad set us up for an edge trap situation. You're just gonna hold that ledge for your grab. Grab down his full stock here. Misses an early wave land, but does not get true punish. Sharking, no jump if you're Logan, but Logan immediately gets the counter hit on that fastball up there. Crouch cancel F smash for an F smash in his own tit for tat. Great tech chase from Logan. Set us up for an early dare, but oh. just waits him out. Threatens those ledge options until Grab had absolutely nowhere left to go. Logan really shifting into sixth gear here. I mean, he, I don't... I feel like their character models have just been touching this like entire time all by Logan's doing. He is just in Grab's face this entire time. Maybe aggression is the secret sauce to get Grab to cool down and not play as well, but Logan is definitely doing something right. We have Fair off the side, but just like that, Grab gets a dunk. Great, perfect Grab decision there, but 121 is going to be a tall order to try to get away from Logan with. Right, and that'll do it. Two stock here for Logan. All right, Logan up 2-1 against Grab. <clears throat> and if we recall, Grab was the one in uh, Winner's Side, was he not? Um, these guys are both still in Winner's. This is the um, Winner's this is a winner's semifinal match. Oh, or are, you, are you talking about last week? Last week, it was Grab in Winner's Side, yeah. Minutes. Yes, he was. Grab came back and won one two straight. It was uh, down two games to one and then one two straight. All right. For the deciding game for Grab, we are on Battlefield. Ooh, I big clank. Time. I know, me too. It, it, gets me, it gets me every time. We have <clears throat> the Battle of the Platforms, but if we remember 
Last week, Grab really utilized the platforms, getting all types of up tilts in his matchups, especially against floaties, getting so much mileage off of getting tech chases and stuff off of platforms, up tilts off of platforms. So we are going to see if he can repeat this recipe just as good on Battlefield. But so far, it still looks like Logan is just boxing him out. Oh, yes. So far, Grab on the back foot. Logan here with a little bit of a ledge trap. Could have threatened the ledge grab, so uh, Grab had to make it ambiguous. Had to at least give himself a chance to get back to stage, so early up he will get snuffed out by the F smash. Oh, that was good off stage early. Ooh, oh. F smash won't power spot. Grab getting antsy in a, in a pretty straightforward situation is going to net him 70% in damages, but can he reset Logan to a third stock? Missing the forward tilt. What spacing by Logan coming down with a nair. Not going to get the stock off of Grab, but he's going to add 105% on this. This is a lot of extra credit for the first stock of Logan. All right, down two stocks here. Logan just in dominating form. All right, tries to snuff out an early approach with the oh. triple oh. fail into the down tilt. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, bro. We're playing Tass out here. All right, Grab. Putting that first stock on the board. He is basically down a stock and a half at the time, but he could have a chance to set it right right now. Logan going to find top plat. Going to try to reset, but Grab is trying to shark his little heart out. Only swimming forward with this one. That's not, that'll do nice. Nice. That was a good setup by Grab. We are on the same stock, but we have 70% to go for grab if he wants to even this up. Logan gonna try to take the stock now. When Logan smells blood, man, he really starts getting aggro. But grab trying to take these floaties to the platforms. All right, finds an early shark here, but doesn't get the continuation with the shield drop up there. Dash through won't quite get the opening, but an early grab from the grappling man himself. Can he get this knockdown the knees? Tech chase, ooh, doesn't quite get there fast enough. Slide off from Logan. Will get snuffed out with a dash dance grab. Great shield breaker. Yeah. Jinx. <laughs> oh, great micro movement into that early punish. Occupies the ledge, but Logan calmly will reset the situation here. Won't quite do it on top. Grab with another lease on life, but an F tilt should steal the stock away. F smash to send him home. Yeah. 98%. Early. Early um, aerial into F smash should steal it away, as well as um, so a grab. I believe F, uh, forward throw pivot tipper should still be a thing at this percent, but it looks like a sour spot. F smash will set us up for an edge guard full charge. Double jump has been expended into the tipper. Will take this straight to last stock zero percent. Yeah, we like to start our or end our sets on last stock zero zero here at the dinner table, and honestly. It looks like it's anyone's game, but we know Logan really only needs like one or two openings to seal a stock in the Marth Ditto. Some people saying that this is not his strongest matchup, but oh you could God, convince me otherwise. All right, Grab firmly in control of this stock. Right. Oh, beautiful wave land by Grab. Oh, it's dead. It's over. It's, it's over. over. See you later. See ya. We are at a game five situation, much like we were winners finals of last week, Hada. That's crazy. Game fiver. Grab may have got, just got a little bit more wind back in his sails. Uh, through that final stock here. We have a just just a great set of winners semifinals here. We had a game five. Crotto with an upset over HBox. Will we get another, you know, it's it's been such a tit for tat. Logan winning the best of three set in the salt mine last week. Of course, you see... Grab taking it in the winner's final in the winner's final set, and then Logan having to take him two sets straight to win the event last week. So this is definitely a storied rivalry throughout this series alone. We'll have to see what kind of sauce, what kind of different strategies, what kind of different practicums we can apply here in this game five Pokemon Stadium situation. Man, Pokemon Stadium, what a perfect, beautiful anime lay map to end this set on we have logan who has been full force this entire set and grab who has just somehow found a way to claw back from all this aggression just constantly grab set himself up to be an early lead in this in this set 
But Logan finding the sweet spot. Grab not giving up that space too easily. Finding the forward smash. That's going to be an easy kill. Only 15% Hata. 50% is not much in the Marth ditto. But Logan could bring it back. Grab moving so confidently. But maybe a miscue on the roll. But Logan not there to get the true punish. Oh, finds an astronaut's grab. Oh, early scoops with the upper. And the totally tipper. Okay. Just Be narrowly avoiding the tip of that down tilt. And Logan is Ooh. hunting on the chase for a punish. All right, Grab trying to keep this first stock going. We have 86% of extra credit, but that forward smash is probably going to do it. Can Logan make up this almost 100% difference? We know he can stack up that percent, but can Grab seal this stock quickly? Down throw, going to set something up. Going to find the sweet spot to the grab. Logan, good off the ledge. We all know this. But he's going to get center stage. He might get a dunk off of this. Nope, grab resetting this. All right, great micro spacing on the neutral air from grab. Grab, a little bit of corner pressure, but narrowly avoids that chase down grab. But Logan, working on a little bit of corner pressure, a reversal potential here for Tennessee's own grab. Kentucky. Oh, Logan with the dunk. Logan's now in the lead. What a what a comeback from Logan. Logan clawing his way back with the most marginal of leads now, 150%. He is hanging by a thread, but he is still swinging. We are trying to get Dancing Blade to anything. Up tilt will seal us out. 11% difference. That is nothing. Logan going to find not a double fair, but misses the tech. It gets one anyway. Grab. Going to try to cheese at the ledge. We all know he loves to do cheeky little setups. Oh, great. Edge cancels coming out here from Logan. Logan with a potential to send us with an early double SD into last stock. Zero percent. And we're just going to collectively take a breath there as this will decide who sends us straight to winner's finals to meet up with Crotto. All right, All right, grab. Tech chase opportunity here for Logan. Logan misses the third iteration of the tech chase. Tech's in. Will get snuffed out by Logan. Logan with another follow up here. Almost snipes on the double jump. Just narrowly misses it. And it's hyper F smash with the slow mo. Oh, the slow